Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you how to choose the right artificial Christmas tree for your home. Now we all know how hard it can be when shopping for an artificial Christmas tree, especially when you're shopping online. That is why I'm putting together this guide when shopping for your perfect artificial Christmas tree. Now for reference, I'm gonna be using my favorite green Christmas tree from King of Christmas. This is a 7.5 foot cypress spruce. So I will be reviewing this tree throughout the video. The first thing to decide when shopping for your artificial Christmas tree is to decide the width and the height of your tree and what will determine that is your space because you want your tree to fit your space perfectly so that's one reason I chose this tree right here because it is 7.5 feet high and that is the average size of a Christmas tree and that will fit most ceilings that are 8 feet or higher so that's a really good place to start the next thing is the width now if you want a very full lush profile tree um, um, that is actually this what this tree is categorized as that's about 64 inches wide and if you're looking for a narrow tree those range to about 48 inches wide now let's talk about branch tips branch tips is probably the most important thing when it comes to choosing your artificial Christmas tree the more branch tips you have also that equates to the fullness of the tree the quality of the tree and the price of the tree so let me go ahead and explain what the branch tips are so each each branch comes out and it has all these little tips and each of these little ends on the tree is considered a branch tip so the more of those the more full your tree will be and the way I determine if it's full or not is if I can see the stem in the middle of the Christmas tree so once I fluff it I don't want to be able to see that stem in the middle of the Christmas tree at all to me it looks more realistic if I don't see that however there are Christmas trees they want to show off the stem because they're more Charlie Brown like so I'm not talking about those. Now, a taller, wider tree will take a lot more branch tips to make it look really full than a narrow one would. So keep that in mind. It's a ratio game when it comes to the amount of branch tips. Now, to give you some perspective and maybe an average on what to look for, if we're talking about a 7.5 foot tree, like this one right behind me, this again is a very full profile tree. So it's 64 inches wide. This tree has five 5,219 branch tips and that's one reason I picked this tree because it has so many branch tips for its width and for its height. I love how it looks so full and lush and I can't see the stem in the middle of the tree when I fluff it and that is just, oh, that is what I look for. Now to give you a little bit of perspective, my flock trees that were more narrow, they're 52 inches wide, they took around 2,000 branch tips for it to look really full and lush, probably equivalent to this. Now the next thing is the type of branch tips. So you have the amount of branch tips. Now we're gonna talk about the type and there's two types of branch tips. I'm about to get really nerdy on you, but I'm telling you it makes a difference. And all these specs you should be able to find when searching for your Christmas tree. So I'm telling you kind of like what to look for. So the two kinds are PE versus PVC. Now the PE branch tips are very natural looking. They're the plastic ones. They're usually on the ends of the branches on your Christmas tree. These are made in a mold and these look very realistic. Now the other kind, the PVC, those ones are more papery, more flimsy, and those are made to go in the back of the branches on a Christmas tree. And it's used as filler to make it look really full and lush on the inside. And then on the outside you have those PE which are the nice molded tips now every good tree has a ratio of the PE versus the PVC so this tree beside me has a 70-30% ratio, where 70% of this tree is the PE tips, which are the molded realistic looking tips, and the other 30% is the papery filler ones that you see in the back. Now, I personally wanna get a tree that has a good ratio of this, and I do think 70-30 is a really good um, ratio, and it's realistic. A lot of trees come with that kind of ratio, and again, it's one reason why I chose this Christmas tree. 
tree. Now some Christmas trees do have the just there's just strictly PVC. I personally don't like a Christmas tree that's made up of that because they're all the papery kind and it looks less realistic. The next thing in searching for an artificial Christmas tree are the lights. Now I'm going to give you a range on what to look for in order to get a tree that's very well lit. Now again, this is a ratio similar to the branch tips. The bigger the tree, the more lights it's going to take for it to look really well lit. So if you're looking for a narrow tree, something around 48 inches wide, that's the standard 7.5 feet high, you're looking around 400 to 800 lights. Lights. That would make a really well lit narrow Christmas tree. Now if you're looking for a very full profile tree, that will take about 800 to 1200 lights to make that tree look very well lit. Now the thing I love about this Christmas tree is this actually has over 1400 lights. This has 1450 lights. And when I look at a tree, one, one thing that tells me if it's a well lit tree or not is whether or not it looks like I need to add more lights. And when I look at this tree, I think, oh, I don't need to add any more lights. Now the second thing when it comes to the lights is, um, is it lit within? And what I mean by that is my mom always taught me growing up, Make sure your tree, when you're putting lights on a tree, that you start in the center and you work your way out to the tip. And that will have that lit from within look. The thing I like about this King of Christmas tree is it does that very thing. It has lights on the very tip of the tree and it goes all the way down to the center of the tree. So it has that lit from within look. I want to mention some of the unique features about this tree in case this is the kind of tree that you're looking for. So you can see it's lit up in the beautiful warm white lights right here but it also comes in multi. So with the click of a button, it goes from warm, clear light to the multi-colored. And I think that is so fun. So you really don't have to choose. You get both with this tree. Another cool thing about this tree is it has a little foot pedal. So you can just click your foot on the foot pedal and it, it will change the lights for you. So it's really simple. Another cool thing about this tree is that it comes with fluffing gloves and the gloves just don't go on your wrist. They actually go all the way up to your elbow. And that's really helpful when you have such a deep tree like this one and you won't get scratched up. The other thing I like is that it also comes with a storage bag and it's a really good high quality storage bag. It's that plastic material so it really doesn't rip. I also want to mention the flexibility of the branches on this tree. So each stem has lots of like smaller branches on the ends and then you can really manipulate these smaller branches any way you want them, which is great when you're putting on, let's say, tall, long ornaments, or if you just, I don't know, it, I just think it adds to the realism of the tree. I love being able to really manipulate it any way I want. Bonus tip, pricing. So typically trees of this size, this width, with this many branch tips and lights, I've seen go upwards of $2,000. However, King of Christmas has this tree on sale currently at just under $1,000. A very good price for an excellent tree. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Down below, I will be providing a link to this tree in case you're interested. It is an affiliate link, so that means I make a small commission, which really goes to help support this channel. However, at the end of the day, I just want you to end up with your perfect Christmas tree. So please tag me on Instagram or comment below and let me know what Christmas tree you got. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas.